to involve these guys. And uh, scary enough, scary enough, most of it. Once it was taken care of. What do you mean? They killed him. Somebody killed him. They grabbed him from somewhere. They killed him. They wouldn't stop eating on him. Where did this take place at? Sacramento. And where was the boy from? I don't know. What was his name? Jeremy. How do you know his name was Jeremy? Because I asked him. And what did you remember to us? Actually, uh, I can't, I can't hear you. Actually, uh, what time in the About June. And uh, how did you get out in what city were you in now in June of 85? Sacramento. And how did you get to Sacramento? I mean, uh, commercial or private? Private. And uh, I'm trying not to skip around here, but who did you go out there with? I went over that time by myself. In a private plane? They chartered a private plane just for you yourself? No, I was on a kid Well, who were up uh, there? Sheen. Did she even marry? No, she was me. It was just a small plane. I don't know. Generally, it was just a single one. I would have made several stops on the way out there. And where, where did the plane, where did you depart from? Um, that plane I found. We landed. It was from uh, um, Did you leave from the commercial airline side or from the other side of the airport? From the other side. Do you remember? Uh, it was from, uh, I don't remember. Stops in Nevada, Denver. When we stopped in Nevada. Why would you stop in Grand Island? Pick up some stuff. What do you mean pick up stuff? We picked up um, some camera equipment. When we stopped in Denver, we picked up some other kid. Do you remember where you stopped in Grand Island? We stopped at the airport and we got out to the time. Did you take a cab or what? No. So we got to put this up in our van. It's um, so a kid, but it took us in this other house and picked up some equipment, went back to the airport from the airplane. We were off with that. Get the small one. No, I came in the pilot that was flying the plane. Back to the plane. Do you remember who the pilot was? No. Okay. And then you went to Denver from Grand Island, is that right? Yeah. And then, uh, what did you do when you got to Denver? I went to the hotel. I didn't check out the kid there. Was the kid already at the airport? No. We went to the house. Um, we picked him up. What was his name? Nicholas. In the hall was he? We thought that too. Do you remember where the house was in Aurora? I think so. Okay. All right, so then uh, what was the purpose of picking up Nicholas? Because he was going to take him up there with us. Okay, go ahead. Keep, keep going. Right? Yeah, we were stopped in Nevada. Where in Nevada? Las Vegas. Okay, and how long were you there? 
just to let uh, this ritual stretch. Did you pick up anybody else there? No. And then? Go ahead. And after that, we can do the second one. And then we learn, learn that some little Italian band that was supposed to be some kind of producer. I don't know that we have a producer. Oh, I can't hear you. I don't know that we have a producer. Why is that? Because he's the one that wanted his kid to kill. Well, can you be a little more... Be a little bit more specific. Well, I mean, it's better to get a pick up in Denver. You have to speak and up. And they forced us to have sex with this kid who we didn't even know what they were planning to do with this woman. Wait a minute. Was you and which kid now? The kid that was from Denver. Okay. They had you two do what? Have sex with the boy that they kidnapped. And they were telling me at the time they. told us just to do whatever we wanted and stuff. Because it was all just, everything that he was saying was that it was all just part of it. All the time. Alright, now how old was this boy that was kidnapped? About 12. And how do you know he was kidnapped? Because they told us. Who told you? They didn't want to tell you about it. Well, why would you believe that what he told you was true? Did the boy say that he was kidnapped? All the boys did was cry. The child was the not hung up and not the other. Was he used to having sex? No. Did he, did he call out for his mom and dad? I mean, what? Tell me. Get a detail with me here. No, you can't tell us to just go. You can tell us to go to some of the other men with us. But who is where? The boy. Who is in where? Take your time. Take your time. Put us in a cage. Are you in a house or are you in a hotel? We were in a wooden area. We were inside of the wooden door. We're outside the wooden door. Okay, let me back up. You arrived in Sacramento. Yeah. Where did you go when you got there? We went to the hotel. Okay, when you say we, that's not the key of the boy, me, and Jack and Sue's car. Okay, do you remember what hotel? Um, no. Okay, do you remember what year? It was 1985. Yeah, what, what month do you remember? Yeah, you need to look at the 1985 calendar right there. So we drove outside 
the sea moments and we drove into a kind of a tree there and a lot of trees. Were you scared? No. You weren't scared? I wasn't scared because when I was, when I was, I was scared of what I got there. What about his necklace? Was he scared? Yeah. Why didn't you guys leave? Why didn't you guys run? You had opportunity to leave, didn't you? Yeah. Why didn't you go tell a, tell somebody? We didn't know what's going on, so we got there. Well, but you, I mean, when you... Okay, go ahead. Once we got there, we didn't know what's going on. We got there and they told us that we filming and she made a, a movie. And I've already been in, out there about three dozen times we got to film movies had stuff with guys and other boys and stuff. Same place? Same. Um, one time I was in the same place. Same producer? No. no. And I didn't think anything bad luck, nothing ever done wrong before. Nothing like this in the room. And they started this planning. And they started telling us what to say and what to do. Who would say what to say and what to do? It was a time back. So then he gave us his line and stuff. He said, The only thing you have to do is say what you feel. Right? Because he wants to be, you know, look natural and something you. He said, Just go with what you feel. So I just want to, you know, get you guys. So, you know, out here and they you know, gave us these things like, you know, called the Tarzan, of course, you know, they had him in the cage and stuff. They had who in the cage? The kid. The kid that. Was he crying at yes. that point? That's all he did was cry the whole time? They didn't knock, did anybody ever slap him and tell him to quit crying? Yeah, they slapped him a lot. And did he quit crying? He started to, and then I started talking to him. And told him it was going to be alright, and that we weren't going to put these in the hurting. And I, I tried to tell him that we were going to hurt him, but he never believed me. And after a while, I didn't believe him. But they had us, they took him out of the cage and stuff, and they let him run. We were supposed to chase him down. How big of a kid were you? We were probably about five by five feet. So it was just a small kid? It was a small kid. But when you say we, who are you talking about? We were the only one kid. Remember. Nicholas? Nicholas. They let him out of the cage. Yeah, and how many people were present? It was me, Nicholas, the boy, Archie, and the pilot. Um, pilot was there too? The pilot was there too. Producer, and there was about four other people there that were filming this. And what they, were, what they had us do is they had the camera set so they could, you know, so they let him out so they could run. They had us chase him down. They told us so they chased over the dude. We chase him down, we were supposed to chase him down, and then we were supposed to drag him back. We were both bigger than he was to run with him. And so we drove him down after we started running. We dragged him around and stuff. How far did you chase him? About 20 feet. That's it? And that fast. Okay, so you caught him and what did you do? Knock him down or what? Knock him down and we drove him back up to the where the cage is at and stuff. How did you drag him? I grabbed his legs and then he grabbed his arms and sort of kind of carried him back up and kind of dragged him over. Was he kicking and screaming? He was kicking and screaming. And what was he saying? Uh, saying, please don't hurt me. He didn't hurt him call him. You heard it, Paul? What'd you do to him, Paul? 
And you don't see Tom in the when is it going to be a good form? A sex with Okay. Now you were used to having sex with people, right? So something else must have happened then when it fall.
crying so much after they did it that they opened the case and they grabbed nipples and they killed me to death because they took him and they drove him over in the woods and stuff. I heard a couple of shots. I thought they killed him too. They didn't. They put Nicholas out of the cage and they drug him over to the to where? Turned him off in some trees or something. I thought they'd shot him, but they didn't. And they said that he came back and they one day I came back and he did this to come back and stuff. I didn't see him until about an hour later. It had him cuffed up. He was scared to death. What did they do with the body? I don't know. Did you drag them away? I saw them pick it up and put it in the car. I saw a car drive away. What did Larry King do with all this? He was watching. Violent. Smiling. Why didn't you report them? I'm scared. You never told anybody until this day about that? Told them a friend about it. Tell the police about it. Who did you tell the police? Detective Pope. What did he say? He didn't believe me. Why? So those type of things just don't happen. He says that this type of stuff doesn't happen in Omaha. Omaha is a nice concern to tell him. You weren't in Omaha. I know. He said, my brother didn't know some of this. But I tell him, this type of things don't happen in Omaha. People from Omaha don't do that stuff. He wants a bunch of lies. It's just the same. It happened to you, didn't it? Yes. So what happened after? How well, much later after the gunshot and the boy was killed did you leave? Three hours? Describe the setting for me, please. There was a swimming pool shaped like a, um, 
in about half the moon. So a shame. Tell me a little more about the boy that was murdered. He had blonde hair and brown eyes. How old was he? Somewhere around 12. How old was he from Idaho? How do you know he was from Idaho? Because that's what he had mentioned. The boy himself? And did he have the first name? Uh, all I think is that it was something. I don't know. Try to remember. Did you say where in Idaho he was from? No, he never got that out. You guys kept telling him to shut up. I was trying to talk to him. I was trying to calm him down. I was trying to tell him that nothing was going to happen to him. And everything would be all right. You ever experienced anything like that before? No. Just... Maybe before my best friend killed someone. Pardon? Just about to inform my best friend killed someone. But I mean when somebody was murdered. Not that I didn't see. Just a about it. Any other identifying speeches you can remember about the boy? The feeling on the upper or lower? The upper. And how do you remember that? Because I remember when I was doing stuff in the song. Did they make you beat them? They tried to. Did you?
nothing you can recall? All I know is he finds out of the sense for him. Um, he's a half a he's trapped Is he still out there? I think so. I believe so. Do you remember a first name, anything? Can you describe him? He was a tall, a tall kind of a brownish blonde hair. And is he white or black? He's white. And one, one brown eye was blue eye. He had a scar on his left arm right there and went all the way down. He said he had a surgery or something. He had a tattoo on his chest right here on the eagle. And he's always talking about the Air Force and stuff. He's talking about how he spent some of the Air Force and stuff. And he, he, He'd been there for sort of like 10 years or something. He was a uh, captain or something. The pilot thing. When was the last time you seen him? About 1986. But the last time I went to the party, I had a magic party. So a lot of guys are interested in me because I don't know, I just kind of feel like a prostitute. I've never asked anybody to leave. They have no terms on they got the money. And, um, in, this, in this incident with this boy bonded him? Yeah. And they just don't keep seeing? No, I stopped seeing letters and all the blood. And then I didn't want anything to do with him again. That guy was from all those people. And they probably mentioned his sex.